So right to left, uh, senior outside hitter Julia Bergman, head coach Michelle Collier, and uh, graduate middle blocker Brita Morissette. Mm -hmm. uh, my coach. oldies. <laughs> <laughs> my oldies over here. Coach, can you just start us off with the opening segment? Yeah. Um, no, just super excited about the season. I think that we uh, put together a, a very challenging uh, preseason schedule, uh, and we're excited to get that underway. Um, I think that our program was able to, uh, I think, achieve some new heights last year, and our goal is to sustain um, some of those accomplishments, and we understand um, the difficulty that it's in front of us. But I think I have a, a, great, a great group, uh, a lot of depth, more than we ever had, I think, in our gym. Um, a, a very different levels of classes, and, you know, we got a, lot, a couple young players, a couple very um, senior experienced players. Um, and I think that this summer uh, the team worked really hard. This spring we had a chance to also go to Brazil and compete. So I think that we have really been building, you know, 2022 Georgia Tech Volleyball for a while now after we finished the Elite Eight last year. And um, I think that we've, we've done everything in our control to really take advantage of the opportunities. Everybody made itself better, better individually. And I think that's the time now that we work to bring it all together um, and face our opponents and then really – uh, go to battle here and, and see where that takes us. So just excited for an opportunity to compete again. Um, I think that we have a, a great group of girls that are really doing a great job representing Georgia Tech and, and what we're doing. And uh, we're excited to remain among the elite in the country um, in this sport. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, we'll open up questions. Roger. You, you have a, you know, a majority of your squad back from last season, mm -hmm. a lot of experience. You know, maybe plug in a person here or there. It's, it seemed like in the in the opening exhibition match, uh, you know, you you know you have Julia on attack. Uh, it seemed like you you went more to the middle uh, than you had in past years. Is that the, 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 you know the new approach this year? Um, I think it, it every match varies. Obviously, it takes every single one of us to to win a match. Um, but I think that Bri and Aaron are, are playing at a very high level. I think that they've they've grown a lot in their positions. I think that they've learned to become a offensive threat and respected um, in that position. So I think that it's only smart of our setters to keep giving them the ball, actually giving you know our outsides and our pins a little uh, better looks, hopefully, uh, you know, and taking advantage of our ball control of our passing uh, and really being able to diversify our offense and continue to to be efficient with our offense like we have been in the past years. So um, they're doing a great job, and I think that we're maximizing, you know, what they're doing right now. Jack. Uh, between the Brazil trip and the last few games, what have you all – any of y'all can answer this. How what, – what has – I guess what's been the thing you've seen the, that's going to have the – where you, bleh, what will be the thing that you'll improve the most uh, in the sense Brazil on to now? Yeah, I'll let you guys – I think uh, something that we were working on when we went to Brazil is just really connecting and finding like good chemistry on the court with like a different setter than we had last year and just like new players on the court getting comfortable with everyone and learning each person's tendencies and how they play and like getting comfortable with them and I think that we saw a lot of growth from Brazil to our last exhibition match um, this past Sunday um, in that and in, in chemistry on the court. You, you played a lot of uh, – Julia played a lot of matches this, this summer. Mm -hmm. How do you approach that with her as far as practice goes? Because it's a, you know, it's a long season, or is that even an issue for – I guess, Julia, you could answer that question too. Yeah, no, I mean, I think obviously for us it was great. Uh, I think it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for her. I think that that's why, what we prepare our players for. Uh, it's to play at that next level. Uh, it was great to see that she was able to transition what she learned here and be surrounded by, you know, probably the best players in the world and really them making her um, an even better player. And she's bringing in a, a lot of that experience um, into the, into our gym now. And I think that that is important for all of our players to, to learn a little bit about the game at the next level and how those things were. Um, obviously, the reps are always... Uh, you know, they're, they're there, but we, uh, I think that she was being taken care of. Uh, she was surrounded by great players, um, and now it's just managing. I mean, all these guys, they're all, they're seniors, and they've, they've taken a lot of reps and swings, and so it's just, um, we really focus in strength and conditioning, uh, recovery, 
uh, you know, Carla, Scott, I mean, those guys do a really great job with our players of really, um, you know, just taking care of their bodies um, and making sure that we're putting them in a situation that they can keep executing at a high level uh, day in and day out. So I'll let her speak a little bit to that as well. But I mean, even though I was working hard back in Brazil and playing the VNL, um, I think the girls were doing the same here. So they were practicing every day. They were working out early every day. And I mean, they were putting probably as much or not even more work into it than I did. So um, I mean, I was playing a lot, but um, with that, uh, at the final phase of the VNL, we weren't maybe practicing that much every day. Um, so I think I had, I mean, I was practicing maybe less than they did. So I think we're on the same level now. And I mean, the season starts, so I can't just say, oh yeah, I'm tired from that. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. Now it's it's my senior season. I want to I wanna give my best and to help the team get to our goal. And I mean, the past is in the past. It only matters what's going to happen in the future and what we're going to do now. When you all saw that the preseason ranking was nine, how did you all initially feel about that? Uh, <laughs> I think we felt proud. I think we earned it. I think we earned it. I think that we finished the year uh, playing at a very high level. And so if we're going to look at what we did last year, we definitely deserve to be in the top 10 uh, because we, we competed at that level. So I think that that was well earned from, from our team. Uh, but we also know that what we did last year doesn't win as one point this year. So we're going to have to come back to it and, and really uh, prove ourselves again and, and show that we that people are right and that we belong there. Um, you know, and I think that now we there's a different phase of our program where we're, you know, we're no longer the, the team that's going to surprise people and, oh, here's what Georgia Tech is doing now. It's here's what Georgia Tech's expected to do, uh, you know, and so it's a different feeling but that's what you work hard for I think that again we talk about pressure being a privilege and I think that it's a different kind of pressure that we have now uh, but that we're ready for you know and that we really believe that that we belong there we, we're, we're doing some great things at a very high level in our gym uh, and we're going to keep competing with the best uh, two-part question uh, you have to replace your setter you know how, how is D'Amico progressing and number two you have a couple transfers what can you tell us about them and where they fit in? Yeah, no, I think Bella has been in our system, uh, you know, now for, for a while. Um, and she's done a great job learning from Matt, learning from the system. And uh, she's prepared to for her opportunity. Uh, we also have Nicole Drunick, who I think it's getting better and better. Uh, you know, she has had to, to battle with some injuries and has, has had a hard time to get a, a consistent flow since she's been here. Uh, but I think that we've seen some really great moments of her and we're looking forward for for her to, to become that consistent setter as well because I think that you know those two guys uh, can really deliver at a high level. They're physical, uh, which is a little bit different. You know, they're not the same kind of player as Matt. Matt did a great job, I think, maximizing her talents and her strengths. Uh, and we're going to have to adapt now to Bella and Nicole and Ashlyn, you know, and, and their talent and their strengths. Uh, so our team, it, it, our offense will be a little bit different. I think that our team will be a little more physical. Uh, we're, we're blocking more balls even against the match against South Carolina. Um, you know, so we're going to score points in other ways, um, I think. And then at the end of the day, I mean, our goal is to win matches. So however we score the points, um, you know, it's going to look a little bit different than, than when Matt was running the offense. But I think that those guys are... Um, are doing something very special um, and I'm looking forward for them to just keep keep growing um, and then Bella has has done a great job you know she's ready and I think that she's making the most out of the opportunity and I'm looking forward to Nicole and Ashley to continue to challenge her um, you know and, uh, and our team just continue to grow um, what was the other one the transfers, transfers yeah. okay all right <laughs> yeah no um, so we have Tam um, that came from Illinois State uh, you know, and she, she's doing well. She's, um, I think, adapting a little bit to the way we play in our system um, and some of her responsibilities. I think that they were a little bit different where she played. And so, but she really just personality-wise, culture-wise, really fit in well with the group. Um, everybody's pretty comfortable around her. I think that she's pretty comfortable around the team being herself. And, 
and just kind of bringing, you know, good different energy uh, to the team as well. So I think that she's done a great job. She's been with us. Um, you know, she went to Brazil and so she's been with us a little longer with this group. And it was a great opportunity to just have her around um, so that she's more comfortable, the team is more comfortable. So she's she's done a great impact. I think that she's going to do great things that are in our conference and, you know, just with our team. I think she adds depth to the pins, whether on the right side or on the left. Um, she's physical. She's got a great arm. Uh, she can hit the ball hard. So, uh, you know, I think that that adds a little more, um, I think, into that position. And then um, same with Tally. Uh, you know, she graduated from UCF just, uh, I think, a couple weeks ago. Uh, and she hasn't been able to be with us until now, but she's really been – adjusting well she's the oldest player uh in our roster but it's funny because she really just a good learner you know she's been kind of wanting information uh wanting to learn wanting to get better wanting to learn how we how we play and how she adjusts us to the system um so i think they've been great so far you know and they really added some good experience and uh, i think uh, talent to to their positions um, and that will definitely help us in the long run for sure What went in, excuse me. What went into your decision to come back for that extra year, and was grad school? Did I imagine that played a big role in your decision? Yeah, for sure. Um, when Michelle asked if I wanted to come back, I was really excited. <laughs> I, I love this team and I love this program. And when like going through it, I was like, "There's really no place that I'd rather be to play another year." And of course, the school is amazing. Um, I'm getting my master's in analytics, focused business analytics. So that was something that also played a good role, um, just with the competitiveness of the school and the degree. But I really love this team, and you know, they're my family. I don't want to cry, but um, <laughs> I love Georgia Tech and my team and this program. So that was mostly what I didn't want to be anywhere else. Julie, you mentioned a team goal. Is there something specifically that you guys are, are pursuing? I mean, for sure, first place. That's our goal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, we know that we can get there. Um, our team was working hard for it since, I mean, since my freshman year, that was our goal. And now even more, and we're so close to it. I mean, we've been working hard this past year and this summer, all the girls, even though I wasn't able to be there. But, I mean, just the entire part that we did in the spring exhibition matches in the spring and all the workouts we did and I think everyone believes in it and that's the most important part we know that we can do it so I think now that it started we had our first match against um, South Carolina now and went pretty well for the first game I mean it was great we played really good everyone played well together uh, so I mean we have a tough preseason schedule but we all know that we're able to to compete at that level. And like I said, I mean, even though they put us at, it's a great thing that a, the preseason rankings came out the way they did, but I think we are not satisfied with it. And it, we're also not satisfied with what we achieved in the past, and I think we're only aiming up from there. Right. One of the players that we haven't mentioned is Bertolino. Is, is she someone you expect to make a big jump, you know, after getting last year under her belt and, and really, you know, fitting in with everybody and maybe getting more confidence now? Yeah, no, I think Bianca is a special player. I think she's super steady. Um, you know, there's not – emotionally, there's not a lot of ups and downs. She's really just solid and, and uh, consistent, which I think helps everybody else around her. You know, and she's playing. She's she's hitting the ball really hard. <laughs> she's she's jumping better. Um, you know, I think that she's uh, I think she's solid with her serve receive and her defense, and she's actually a, a great blocker as well. So I think that she's doing some really great things. I think that she's now adapted to the volleyball here. Um, you know, I think that she knows our conference. She understands our opponents, and I think that she. She kind of understands, um, I think, the challenges that she's going to have ahead of her, um, you know, and, and where she needs to get better. Uh, so those are all things that I think she will continue to grow and learn. Uh, but she's definitely a lot better than even she was. She was already great when she came in as a freshman. Um, but I think she's speaking up more. She's becoming a little more of a, 
of a voice on the court, um, you know, of, of just talking to the team and all these things. Like these things are, it's great to see players just maturing um, from the communication side of it as well because obviously playing the game you grow and learn but but once they start to communicate at a very high level you can see that they're growing and maturing as players and uh bianca i think it's a lot more comfortable doing that um you know and she will continue to be uh, i think one of the best players in our conference uh, looking forward to the games in oxford is there anything y'all have probably ch chosen that's going to be the thing that you want to focus on the most that'll help you all throughout the rest of the year? Uh, I, just briefly, I, I think for us, it's, um, I think every time we step on the court now, we got to prove ourselves and prove ourselves and improve ourselves. And so I think that, you know, or even just looking at, I was talking to the team and they, the ACC did a great job with their previews and, and on Cyrus and they were talking. And a lot of, they asked a lot of the players, hey, do, who do you want to play? And Georgia Tech was a common name uh, that people want to play, you know. And I think that that's, that's an honor for us. I mean, we, we want the best competition. We want to be facing people that are excited to play us, that are going to challenge us, because that's what we ask of ourselves when we're in our gym, um, you know, is to compete and, and get better. So we know that we're not going to have any easy outs. Um, but I think that that's why we, we play the game. You know, is is I think that there is a an added new expectation here about Georgia Tech volleyball that was earned by all the years that we have been uh, working hard to to build and get ourselves here, and then now we have to, um, you know, now there's a responsibility we have to uphold of fulfilling those expectations because we're we're capable of doing that. You know, so I think that we're working hard to to make sure that we're doing that. So we understand like Old Miss will be their first home match. Uh, you know, bringing in a top 10 team at home. I know there's going to be a good crowd there. They're going to be excited. Uh, they were a tournament team last year. Um, and then the same thing, we turn around, we play Illinois, um, who's had a good run of the tournament last year. Uh, you know, that's going to be their first match, our, our second match, but their first match. So we won't have a chance to watch them play. They will watch us play. Um, you know, so there is a, those are all just things that are going to come uh, with this first weekend. Uh, and, and it's always, you know, there, it's one thing when you're in a gym and, and you're trying to replicate what a match can make you feel like or what troubles you might have. But obviously, until we get to that situation and, and start to respond, we'll see, you know, hey, these are some of the things we need to work on. So win or lose, you know, I think that we're going to go out there and compete. Um, and I think that figured out what we need to do to get better. Uh, like Julia said, we have high goals for this season. And uh it starts when we get out there on Friday, you know, and so we're just going to take that opportunity to, to go to battle and face a great team and then turn around and face another great team. And that's why we put that schedule together. So it's exciting. Okay. Um, Michelle, I had a question for you about Julia. Her obviously playing such a high level uh, competition this summer. When she came back, was she noticeably different or better in the way she was playing? Yeah, no, I think it was, uh, no, I think it was great. I think that she matured a lot um, just as, as a player, but also just as a leader. I think that Julia um, plays a big role in our team, not only with the points that she scored, but also, you know, just how she makes other people around her better. And I think that playing with players that have showed her, you know, she, she wasn't, you know, she's surrounded by great players over there. She's got to come here and she's got to make everybody around her be good, you know, to help her continue to, to get better and to challenge her. And, and I think that for us, for our team is great. I mean, I know the girls are always looking forward to blocking her, playing against her, or trying to dig her, you know. So I think that it just, the environment just braces up her level. Um, but I think that she, there were a lot of things in her game that got better, you know, like back row attacking. I felt like she's moving, her range is better. Um, I think that her blocking got better. Still going to work on it a little bit, but, you know, I think that blocking got better. So there were a lot of things that really, I think, helped her game mature, being around these older players. Uh, and obviously she was around, a you know, an old an older professional environment. And now she has to kind of transfer back here and figure out how to be the best for this environment and the people that she has around. Uh, so it's been, it's been fun. It's been fun to have 
just conversations with her and try to help her think that he or she has an opportunity to really be a leader um, and grow, I think, not only volleyball-wise, but just, just really, um, like I said, from the communication standpoint, from, you know, hey, making other people around her better. Um, and it's an opportunity that she has as she continues to grow and, and get better and, you know, be one of the best players in the world. Um, you know, she's got to continue to grow and learn. And, and I think that Georgia Tech presents a great opportunity for her that maybe she doesn't have at other places that will help her on those next steps of her career. So I'm um, looking forward for her to maximizing that and keep making us better. So. <laughs> Continuing on with the, the leadership angle, you know, people lead in different ways, and mm -hmm. I imagine you're looking for these two to be your le your leaders out there. Uh, yes. I know Julia, <laughs> when you watch her play, she wears her heart on her sleeve. You know, you can always tell <laughs> how things are going out there, and and, and you know, what, what exactly are you looking for each one of those players? You know, as far as leadership, you know, by example, or you know, just uh, vocal that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, or by example, always. I mean, I think that that is for us a big deal. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of conversations as a team, um, individually as a group. And uh, we actually this weekend talked about, you know, like these guys are will be, you know, closing out their chapter soon. And so how they want to be remembered by, you know, what are the things that they want to be people? What do people want to be saying about you when you leave this place? And what is the feedback? Is it that, oh, she's super nice? Or is it something a little deeper and more meaningful? Um, you know, so we we definitely uh, try to help them, you know, figure out, hey, make sure that what you're saying connect with, with your actions. Um, so we definitely expect a lot of, uh, I think, leadership, leading by example, for sure. Um, you know, leaders don't always have to be the ones that talk all the time. There's different kinds of leaderships. I think these guys have different personalities um, and they'll be able to connect to the team in different ways um, and they'll play different roles. You know, so uh, we obviously expect a lot of experience um, when it comes to the court and to the situations that they're going to go through because they've been there and they've succeeded or not succeeded. So I think that they understand what helped us succeed and what didn't. Um, you know, and how do we want to be approaching situations, but also just being being good for for their team and, and you know, being somebody that anybody can go in and talk to. Um, I know that they were, you know, it seems a long time ago, but just the other day they were freshmen um, and they were young kids. And we have a lot of young kids on our program right now that, that are going to be the foundation for the future and their impact It's going to make a big deal on how we sustain um, the things that we're doing here at Georgia Tech. So I think that being a little empathetic with what they're going through, uh, you know, and, and helping them navigate, uh, I think, just a grind and, and the things that it takes to do, the things at a level that we want to do. Um, but we're very proud of them. I'm very proud of how they're growing and, and learning. Um, and I'm excited about the opportunity that they have now to lead, um, you know, and, and create their program and, and the 2022 Georgia Tech group, you know, I think that uh, they're ready for it. So, yeah, it's going to be nice to to see how that goes. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, Ken, time for a couple more. Um, realize on the schedule, you guys are playing McKay, Michigan against Pitt, and I'm curious um, what you think about that. And Michelle, like, I'm curious, is that part of maybe a vision of we would love to have more games there as, as you know, obviously Bob? volleyball's popularity kind of speaks for itself too at the NCAA level. Is that like is that part of the kind of the overarching goal for for your team? For sure. Yeah. I think our games against Pitt are big games. Um last year when we beat them I kind of think it ignited a spark per se with our team and like showed what we can really do. But um I think that the game in McCamish is just a chance for us to really see, you know, how much draw we can get to. Like we always sell out O'Keefe, so I think it'll be cool to experience playing in a big arena and um, just opening it up to more of our fans. I don't know, but I'm really excited to play there. I think it'll be a big game, a fun game. Um, it always is against them, so, yeah. Yeah, no, I think the idea, uh, to me, always I'm always trying to forward think and, and figure out ways, okay, we, we got to keep getting better. We got to keep growing. Uh, and I think that that is a great opportunity. I think Atlanta has a great volleyball community. 
Uh, there's a lot of youth clubs here, you know, high schools. Like, there's a lot of girls playing volleyball. I think that, you know, you have two top 10 teams battling. I think that the young girls, uh, it's a great opportunity for them to come out and watch and, and kind of see the best players in, in college compete. Um, so for me, it was an opportunity for a bigger exposure. I think that I think that a bigger exposure to maybe more Georgia Tech fans, you know, donors, um, just in general business people like you got. I think that if if you watch one volleyball game, I guarantee you're coming back. You know, so if you've never seen it, a lot of times we're sold out. A lot of people don't have a chance to see it if they're not kind of in that niche and they don't know they got to buy tickets in advance or all these things and they, they don't get a chance. And I think that this is a great opportunity for our program to – uh, we always talk about honoring the game and growing the game, and I think that this is this is part of it, you know. And I also think that this will continue to be the next step for our program. We are going to need a bigger gym. We are going to need a bigger arena if we want to continue to to be a top ten program and compete against the best programs in the country. Um, and I do think we can get people there. I think that this sport is is um, it's popular enough that that you know we if we market the right way. I think that we're going to have a great turnout, and I think it will be great for Pitt, and it will be great for us, and it will just be great for the game in general. So uh, we're looking forward to to that challenge of playing at McCamish. Um, we it was really hard to give up, <laughs> not playing at O'Keefe, but but you know we we had to take a chance, and I think that again, uh, if we want to keep growing and moving forward, I think that those are the type of opportunities that we have to capitalize on. Sorry, anything else? I appreciate your patience. Yeah. Um, I guess one question for both of you. Um, Greenland coach was talking about how, I guess, you know, being a preseason top 10 team and, and having done what you've done, like maybe you've, the team has reached a different state. And I'm curious if you think of your, the team maybe differently than you did a year ago as far as how other teams perceive you or just what you think you guys are capable of. And then Julia, I'm curious, you mentioned, I was asking about your goals and you mentioned when the ACC is winning a national championship, which is something that isn't done around here often at all. It's something that you guys have kind of thought about or talked about. Yeah, so I think that, you know, just since I've come in, as like a Georgia Tech program, I feel like we've always kind of played with something to prove. And a lot of times we were the underdog in a lot of our games. And I think even, you know, after the 2020 season, when we made it to the tournament, um, we still kind of had something to prove because people were like, oh, yeah, you know, maybe that was just a one year thing. So I think last season it was really about like, you know, we're for real, like put some respect on our name, you know, like we. <laughs> can do it and I think that this year is kind of a similar thing like low last year was a fluke you know maybe you know their seniors got them where they're supposed to be but or where they were last year and you know who knows what this team's gonna do so I feel like it hasn't really changed that much in the sense that we've always had something to prove and something that we're fighting for um, just to kind of remain a respected program um, so I guess no, it really hasn't changed that much. Um, but I know our team is always like wanting more and wanting to be better. Uh, we never really settle for what we had or what we did in the past. And we know that we're always trying to push for something bigger in the future, which is why I think it hasn't changed so much. Like we're always kind of keeping that underdog gritty mentality, always trying to fight for something bigger than others think we can achieve. Um. I mean, like you said, no one has done it before, so I think uh, it's very fun to um, be able to get to that. I mean, like I said, we have the team to do it. We have the ability to, to win a national championship, and I think that hasn't been done in a long time by this program to have such a, such a special group. And we all believe that we can do it. I think that's the most important part, and people are already, they are not, just oh yeah we're gonna play Georgia Tech mm -hmm. we're not gonna prepare like we're <laughs> underestimate them yeah. and I think we've now got to a point where everyone I mean they're all excited to play us and I mean of course there is some pressure behind that but also it's very exciting to see what the program has become become um, to what level we got what our players can do I mean we have so many 
we've been so many great players. We had so many great games last year, um, and I think yeah, we're we're gonna show it on the court, it's and fine. everyone is gonna <laughs> see it. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? All right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.